being displayed to you when you're working. But wait, let's go back one step. So this is the facade. Mm -hmm. And we still have the, there's still mm -hmm. another planning mode mm -hmm. and a concept. Mm -hmm. what is, and how do the these relate to this mode? The concept is uh, usually like uh, a title. I saw one of the examples down at the museum was back in black, and then you have a text. So this is what text? Could, yeah, it could be text plus illustrative uh, pictures and references. Plan, on the other hand, is much based on the map they're going to use. Mm. The f uh, they're going to ah, get a but printout but, but of a map. But I think basically we are, we are talking about the same functionality in mm. each of these three okay. modes. Okay. But there are three, kind of three separate drawings in a way. Right, it's three kind of like mental or cognitive mm. spaces, even though they share similar... Mm. But they will afford a little bit of different things. I mean, the facade will have kind of a horizon line on the outside. The plan will have a kind of right. a map mm. on the outside. And the concept, I don't know, maybe it has a text or title or maybe this look color text <laughs> comes up again. Yeah. So you have to argue for how you think about your project. And I guess from the concept you can make references into the plan and the facade. Mm. Okay. Could you make links? Mm. Between them? I think you should. You can only have one open at a time, right? Well, you I, nice I, I don't you know. I mean, if if these were dynamic, dynamic, it would be good. I mean, if you if you do like this, maybe this is you know squeezed, but still there, and then you can focus on the map. Or maybe it's over it, but there's a transparency. Mm. Mm. You can. It's like a, the the background is mm -hmm. is like what seventy percent opaque, mm -hmm. and you can mm -hmm. kind of. It's it's like your terminal in uh, in OS X. You can have it transparent, and you can do your Unix commands while reading Gizmodo. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should write up these as um, potential things to do, but there are some things that are more important. Than that's like a really nice add-on, I think. If you could make links between the different mm -hmm. workspaces, but first of all, we have to make one. The workspace work. Right. I, I think also. And we add this. We definitely write it up, but it's not a major right. thing. It's yeah. I, 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 this is awesome. I think the the question is, what is the, which ones are the priority? Mm. Which ones are the the must haves, mm. nice to haves, and like. But if you look into the functionality of this, I mean, this looks like an object drawing program, except that the only items that you have here is images, and I guess text boxes. Yes. So we can work with right. images pretty fast right now. I mean, we're we're working with images. Yeah, maybe as a video. Yeah. As attachments. But, but, but we don't. But we don't want to have any, um, you know, any toolbar with you know like a polygon or something. That exactly. We, yeah. Yeah, we don't want that. Right. So the only thing that appears here is the things that you find exactly. in your repository and right. that. Maybe a text box is something that you create. The question is, is how funk, how well are they going to be able to put text in via this keyboard? It's yeah, but I think that's a kind of a question, open question. I mean, we could have like four keyboards lying around mm. because or we have space for it, uh, or we could do that. Right. Virtual one. right. Or text would be something you add on the web. Yeah, yeah that exactly. The mirrored uh, mm. that version I mean, is also down the line of priority. If, <laughs> if you make a two-way connection to the XYD, I mean, one person could actually be sitting in a laptop writing the text, and you could see the text being written up or being synced down I mean, at some point. Right, right. In the XMPP version, we can do real time. Yeah, yeah. But so I mean, the, a, a person standing here could say, "Hey, can't you write up this argument?" Right. And you know, you would right, and and that and that's good, I think, because it, it differentiates what what this space is used mm -hmm. for. This is for, you just know, organizing. for organization, yeah. and the other space is, yeah. is just for like just creation mm -hmm. and, and storage. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what like maybe we can put this uh, the thing that they uploaded to, maybe it can have um, kind of the idea of like a storage box or storage mm -hmm. place. You definitely have. Yeah. You know, because if you go to architecture office, right, they have mm. these huge mm. drawers for their plans and everything like that. Mm. Um. But um, um, 
how difficult is it to make a single batch version of uh, this? If this is an application you're going to make, right? On top of uh, this big information that is being added, how difficult is it to make a web single touch version of it? A web? Yeah, because that's like down. Uh, this is might not be what we're going to develop for the pilot at all. But I'm just wondering how difficult it is. Talking about, oh, a text should be added on the computers instead of the table. How difficult is it? Have you tried? And the web? Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't tried, but uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I would go flash. Because <laughs> 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 uh, this in JavaScript mm. would probably be difficult. But, uh, so it's. So yeah, actually, you would have to make a new one. You couldn't just say yeah, it put it inside no, it a, a single touch project. environment. It would be a new project. Yeah, but it's when you test your multi-touch uh, apps, you still use your single touch. But that's simulating mm -hmm. a touch. Mm -hmm. But the that's a Java program that runs on right. the desktop. The web, the web is is mouse mm -hmm. right now. Right. So the answer is. It's quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be just like a uh, write once or run, there, no. run everywhere. But then we definitely should the add the thing. text on the table then. We shouldn't, we want text because it's part of the uh, good argument. Notation tool you have is verbal language and but then. Yeah, but, but it, that depends also, I think, uh, to where to put our focus. I mean, we could say uh, during the pilot that, you know, this is now XWiki, but it could be developed in this, in this direction uh, you know but you know the benefit of using xwiki is that you know the web comes for free in a way it's not a new mm. part of this development which i think is nice because mm. if we have to develop a whole web interface that does this that's an extra yeah and it takes resources away from this which right. i don't like mm. i mean we can come up with a we can come up with an <coughs> efficient model for them to to add this material to... Yeah, I mean, they need to upload their images somehow. Yes. And that could be web-based more than... And they're going to tag their stuff, too. That would be a wiki. They would use the wiki to do all yep. the yeah. upload. Yeah. Yeah. And would they tag these things, like, you know, this is a this is a pattern, or this is, like, a material, um, this is steel, or they would tag, tag it, and, you know, we can sort these by tags and... If that's possible, if, the, you, if that's what you needed. But, the, but this idea about the architectural <coughs> storage box can be developed uh, from this drawer thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, on the web, I mean, it can either be Flash or some simple, there's uh, tons of JavaScript libraries that, that does this kind of drawers coming out. I mean, and it can be just a drawer coming out with a, a web page where they upload, right? Mm. And they just upload your image, and it's going to be in the this. It'll end up in this section, and we can read from that. Mm. I mean, mm. what you don't want is that you don't want them to use XWiki. You want them to use something. Uh, well, I don't mind actually. Uh, like a higher use. level yeah. abstraction. Mm. Uh, if we look at what they're going to do with it, it's just yeah, a it's repository. Much, it, yeah. it doesn't belong to a page. It doesn't need to belong to a page other than maybe, oh, I want to, the page serves to mm. categorize mm. the content so that everything that was uploaded on the place page comes in one little bag. Maybe this is, maybe but these are... But other than that, the wiki doesn't... So the, the, I think there's the, the higher question is, how do we re represent the data structure of this in XWiki, which is, is working off of pages and attachments and comments and labels? Mm -hmm. And how do we make... In spaces. In spaces, and how do we make that accessible? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is a page. Maybe this is a page, and all these are the attachments. Mm -hmm. and, and somehow we make a hot link. We, maybe it's a tag. Mm -hmm. Somehow... Yeah, it, it could be that the page somehow just represents the layering and the positioning of the mm. attachments. Because mm -hmm. we can bet all we can bet all this information in these mm -hmm. in in these pages and, and just read that and a very simple way of um, uh, overcoming the problem with users is to use maybe blog content because everything that was then posted to the blog that day represent the class repository. Because there's only one class who's gonna use that. Uh, 